Yeah, hi, my name is Matthew Nurse, and I am the Senior Director of the Nike Sport Research Lab. We can objectively quantify athletes, uh, athletes in motion, the environments they play in, the demands of the sport, and we can quantify and understand the different unbelievable product innovations that we do, how that affects athletes in the way they perform, um, the way they're protected, and the perception they have of those different products. We're standing here on the track in the, the center of the Sport Research Lab. We're surrounded by a motion capture system, and we just walked the media through an example of a sprinter coming out of the blocks and showed them how we're able to collect the three-dimensional motion of an athlete and from there calculate the power that they produce and the energy that's produced or lost of the different joints and an understanding of how that motion or intervention contributes to their overall performance as, as they do the different movements. In this case, it was, it was sprinting. Uh, our physiology team looks at uh, an understanding or quantification of the body's regulatory system, so what, what happens inside, and we use that information to quantify things like thermal temperature, uh, understand thermal regulation, skin wettedness, etc., as, as athletes run and move and perspire. Hal is a uh, very sophisticated, he's a copper sweaty mannequin. What, what he does is, is we can set the environmental chamber to different environmental conditions, whether it's temperature or humidity, and as he moves, he actually perspires, and it allows us to understand sort of as, as different constructions or layering or different um, uh, methods of making, how that affects the permeability of the garments is ultimately going to affect sort of the comfort of an athlete or also the thermal regulation of that athlete. Uh, he's an invaluable tool for us. We've already started to get into sort of the commercialization of the technology that we use with Nike Plus, and we had a brief foray into that with some of the, the Plus um, that we saw in our basketball and training products. The, the technology is, is becoming ubiquitous, and the ability to capture the information we collect uh, is getting more and more um, robust. And the willingness of different groups to spend money on the kind of tools we have is also growing. So there's going to be an intersection where the tools that we have are going to be more and more readily available. As data becomes ubiquitous and it becomes all-encompassing and all-informing, what will be our competitive advantage is the knowledge we have of how we apply that data to build unbelievable product. And with that, we're unsurpassed in the world. As we move into the future, I think there's two major frontiers. One is individualized product or prescriptive product for individuals. Medicine is already starting to head that direction, and I think ultimately we will also. We build unbelievable product that works for a wide range of people, but as we start to slice that thinner and thinner to, to capitalize on making athletes better, our ability to individually prescribe different products for different people is, is going to get more robust, but also going to get much more important in the future. Secondly, material that adapts to different movements or different environmental conditions is also going to be important. Certainly I know the folks in both footwear and the apparel innovation teams are well aware of what's cutting edge and are, are pushing the boundaries as, as are we.